Hello. Another episode, another day, another Tosei Bandai production. This is Ninja Kid. I don't remember anything about this game. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know how I'm feeling about this. From the very start, things are looking dire. Look at this. No matter which direction you... If you go up or down... No sprites for being up or down. Okay. So, right out of the gates, you know? I just hit start and we're greeted with this. Great stuff. Let's go to the poison field, I suppose. I am digging this music, though. I think I've heard this music, actually. Uh, okay, okay. I get what's going on. This is actually a uh, remarkably simple concept for a game right here, you know? It's, uh, it's a platformer, we've got a little overworld. And actually, the platforming feels quite solid. Like, I really can't complain about how this feels right now. We seem to, oh, shoot, except we just died. <laughs> but that's my problem, you know? We seem to have unlimited throwing knives, which is good, you know? I was worried it would be uh, one of those things where we got, you know, just a few and then we run out. <coughs> Chubby cherub. But no, this... This actually feels okay. Good, solid platforming. You have a uh, solid control over your jumps. And you got pretty snappy crouching to get those low enemies. Okay, okay. First imp... First impressions weren't amazing from an overworld screen, but, uh, I may have been all doom and gloom over nothing. This is actually okay. Ah, slightly unforgiving hitboxes there, which means, you know, I keep dying, but that's, that's just gonna happen, you know, we gotta... We collect these and we kill us. Oh, we collect these! We don't shoot these! I was gonna say, I saw something on my upper HUD there that looked an awful lot like what I was shooting, so I thought maybe I got the wrong idea about some of this. Oh, look at that. We picked up a power-up. A shuriken power-up? Okay. Okay. You know, I'm learning everything about this game right now, as it is, because, uh... I know I've seen a video on it in the past, but it's been a while, so I I couldn't remember anything about it. Okay. So you do specifically have to collect all of those wisps. Don't just shoot them all down. Despite getting points for shooting them down, you know, it, you're not going to beat any levels that way. Okay, good. You can actually drop down to the... Uh, lower levels, which you would think would be obvious, but with these older NES games, you never know. Every now and then you get something that happens and you're like, what kind of design decision is that? Ooh, that's... Alright, that was, that was a little... that was a little spicy. Maybe should have gone down to the lower level when those started raining down. Okay, game over, but that's fine. You know, that was a trial run. That was figuring out what we're doing here. Okay, and it looks like the overworld map has shuffled just slightly here. Level 1 is a little down on here, which... Oh, and now... Okay, now it's this stage. Okay. Alright. Like, it may seem like I'm a little overjoyed about playing Ninja Kid right now, but you gotta understand. After the past few Tosei Bandai productions, <laughs> something just really solid like this, this feels great. Nice. We got him out of the way so we no longer have death raining down upon us. We collected that. I'm not sure what that is, but we collected it. go uh, to this one. Uh, for some reason, I don't trust dropping down towards the water. And look at that. We've turned it into flowers, I think. Dog fight. What do we okay. All right. Looks like we just gotta kill enemies to progress in this stage here. It's a little, it's a little wonky, just slightly. Not unplayable, but a little, a little off. Okay, we did apparently pick up uh, some kind of invincibility power up. Not long lived. P 
pick up another one of those, whatever they are. And there we go. Okay, I'm digging it. There's actually there's actually some variety in this game. Variety in game, but look at this. This is a more vertical level. Okay. It's not just the same type of level over and over, so that's that's actually that's actually awesome. Now I imagine we gotta probably hit the eye. Yep. Very cool actually. Okay. Yeah, this overworld, you know, I saw it and I immediately thought, oh no, this is gonna be a bad time. But no, this is... This is actually a solid time. Okay, another kill the enemy stage. Now, compared to the variety that you'd see in a modern game, of course, this is a little bit superficial. You know, it's either collect the wisps or kill the enemies. But, you know, you got different stage layouts, uh, what more could you really ask for? <laughs> I mean, even just different stage layouts, you know, that's coming at a premium in this era. It's a little... It, oh, shoot. You know, you gotta be a little bit, like, reflexive. Once projectiles start flying at you, you gotta start playing a little bit better, and I admit I wasn't playing my best there. You know, obviously, we game over, but that was not at all an unfair level. It was just, you know... You gotta acclimate to it. But this is actually fun. This is actually really fun. Uh, after the slog of the past few games, it feels wonderful. Like I, I have a feeling that this whole, this whole episode is gonna fly by. Just on the basis that I'm having a good time. Which again, maybe that's a maybe that's a low bar, but you take what you can get in this series, you know? Collect your wisps and be happy about it. Okay. Destroyed the wisp, but that's perfectly fine. We got whatever that thing was out of the way. This level's no <laughs> Right as I was gonna say, this level's no problem. I just completely forget to, you know, attack. I wonder if I was supposed to collect that crow, because I didn't get any points for killing it. I'm not sure if it matters which door you go through. <laughs> okay. Bringing us right to the big nasty tower of death right off the bat. This is a different boss, too. Look how much variety there is in this game! You don't even guarantee get the same bosses, you don't even know when the bosses are gonna show up! This is wonderful! <laughs> oh! And again, maybe I'm just biased because I just got done playing some bad stuff. Or some, you know, less than wonderful stuff, I should say. There we go. You gotta turn your back on him so he opens his eye. I see, I see. We're down to no lives, but that's fine, you know? The game is just procedural enough to where, if we game over, we're not guaranteed to just be doing the same thing again. Which is great, honestly. Works very well for this type of game. Oh, do we have to collect candles or light kit? Or, what, what do we have to do here? Oh, okay, we have to guide the little flame to light the candles. That's so cool, actually! Like, pretty innovative for the time, right? I don't know if the flame can kill us, I hope it can't, because that would be real goofy. Okay, there we go, we got that one. And there you go. And how do we get out of here? Oh, okay, we have to collect something yet, I guess. I'm not fully sure as to what the game expects of you with some of these, but I'm here for it. Okay, this is the one that we got smashed on previously. So play it, play it slow, play it smart, you know, you don't gotta rush. Oh, okay. Alright, he got me. Fair game. And I, 
I'm not, I'm not being facetious. That was fair. You know, I just have to... I just have to know what shoots projectiles, how they shoot projectiles, how to counter them. That's the gameplay loop there. Okay, get this one out of the way early. Let's see if we can get past Guerrilla Warfare. Then we might, we may stand a chance. Well, we knew that he was going to shoot a little tornado forward, so just jump right over that before it even happens. What is this up here? That's 5,000 points, is what that is. Ooh. Okay, we get a scroll, whatever that means. I'm, I'm a little unsure as to what these items that we are collecting mean. I don't know if they're purely points or if they have some other purpose. Because I remember when we grabbed a scroll in the Blazing Inferno level, it did open up the exit. Ah, I thought we'd make it through without losing a life. It's all right. We at least beat Guerrilla Warfare this time. What do we got here? You never know. Who knows what it's- Ah, no, it's another Guerrilla Warfare! But it is a different layout this time. See, again, the variety. I'm actually stunned by it. I'm stunned by how good the game feels, too. Like... Again, you can't take for granted platforming in NES games. They're not all Mario Brothers, but this game feels fine. Oh, no, our invincibility wore off just in time. That's all right. I don't mind dying in this game because it, <laughs> it's not a slog, you know? Gosh, I feel like all I can just say is the words I'm impressed over and over. I went in with zero expectations. Maybe that's the trick. Come in expecting nothing, and you'll be pleasantly surprised. Okay, more poison fields. Cat is scratching the back of my chair like a madman. What a jerk. Look at that. You just you grab as many of these as you can, because, you know, that's how you win. Shocking, I know. Easy. Now, I don't think we've made it to this little, uh, birdhouse before. The most progression that we've seen in Ninja Kid. Oh, it's an old lady. Okay. Cool. The Challenge of Shangri-La. We died. We were close to not dying, but we died. It doesn't seem that hard, you know? We, we just kind of... I psyched myself out on that one. That's okay. Just start over. I mean, you know, this game, you can have the same conversation you, that you can have about modern games where you're like, when is a procedurally generated world superior to just a smaller but finely handcrafted world? Yeah. Because, yeah, you do get a vaguely different gameplay experience each time, but at the same time, it's not a particularly curated experience. Okay, the crow is worth points if you grab it. We know that now. And that's, you know, that's a debate that people have about games constantly now, is are you better off randomly generating your levels, or are you better off handcrafting them? If they're handcrafted, they're gonna be way more beautiful, but if they're randomly generated, it's gonna be, it's gonna be way easier to make a game with effectively infinite replayability. Obviously, Super Mario Brothers, you're talking very uh, carefully handcrafted levels. Ninja Kid here? <laughs> You know, they set a template and then they say, alright, here you go. Obviously, while there are different layouts, which I appreciate hugely, they're obviously not, like, vastly different from each other. And that's fine, they don't have to be. Oh! Alright. Got made a fool of there. We gotta be a little more careful when death's... <laughs> when death starts raining down from above. That's fine. That's fine. I just want to beat the challenge of Shangri-La, you know? You know, the overworld could use some more polish. The music is almost non-existent. The animation is uh, laughable, but... Pick your battles, right? 
fact that this game is already as decent as it is, is, uh, honestly a god set. <laughs> I needed something good as a pick-me-up. Oh, look at the jukes on that guy. It's like he's a real ninja. I don't know, historically... Were ninjas excellent in, like, hand-to-hand -hand combat, or were they, like, entirely... Like, or were they reliant entirely on stealth? I'd have to imagine, you know, they could still handle a fight remarkably well. You know, I feel like there's a lot of, uh... How do we say... Maybe misinformation surrounding ninjas. Beautiful. Didn't lose any lives in... In a guerrilla warfare stage, I consider that, uh, huge. Okay, good, our little flame does not hurt us. I didn't think it would, but again, yeah. Kind of, it's a little complicated dragging it towards the candles. But as I was gonna say, with these older NES stages, you know... Stages. Games. You never quite know what they're gonna pull on you just to make life more difficult. The Blazing Inferno stage, it's no problem. You know, normally you hear that a stage is called Blazing Inferno and you're instantly like, oh, this is gonna be a nightmare, but no, this, ah! This one isn't that bad. <laughs> you know, you still gotta pay attention. The skeletons still exist, as it turns out. No, 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 no. I should have. I, I should have just taken him out. I don't know why I was so uh, tunnel visioned on just jumping up to that platform that I was apparently having an immensely hard time getting on. There we go. Okay. Oh, another boss. I haven't seen this one yet. Okay. Okay. What do we got here? I'm not sure. I don't know what the deal with him was. Did I have to maybe jump up and then get that little bump on his head? I don't know. I'm sure we'll find out eventually. Good. Blazing Inferno again. I can handle this one. Just don't ignore the skeletons. They are still... <laughs> they can still hurt you. You know, they don't throw projectiles, but that should make it all the easier to dispatch them. Don't just stand there and pretend they don't exist. As much as it feels great to just disrespect them. There we go. That's very nice. I still don't know what these items are that are giving me points, you know, I'm not sure, are these supposed to be people, are they, uh, do they make a difference? I don't know. But that's a completed level with no lives lost, and we're at yet another boss that I have not witnessed before. Couldn't be happier. Show me everything there is to see, man. Ah! Good thing there's no time limits on these stages, you know. I've always... I'm not gonna say always hated, but I've never been a huge fan of, like, time limit stages. Games that feature time limits, I should say. Okay, that, that one was easier. Just get both his eyes and then he's down. Guerrilla Warfare. Alright. This is... I believe the easier Guerrilla Warfare layout with these enemy types. This one gives me less troubles than the other ones do. What would a Ninja Kid speedrun look like? You'd have to account for a lot of RNG. Okay, that's right. We were still invincible. Now we're not, so that in mind. I think it's best off actually staying on this lowest level, because then 
you don't have to necessarily jump up at enemies. They gotta come to you. Okay, boss time. This one should be very easy. Oh, no, except the, the raccoon or whatever it was. You know, again, we should just take those out. We don't even... We don't even let chance take over. Okay, good. I'm glad that my projectile hit him before his hit mine. Before his hit me. <laughs> I can't speak. Poison field is no problem. I I don't want to say it's no problem because that's that's how I wind up losing a life is by uh, completely underestimating its power. You know how it goes. Okay, well that was a scroll, but it's not anymore. We'll we'll just take this scroll. What whatever it uh, whatever it is, you know. Okay, okay, nope. I thought I had the upper hand. From the grave, he eliminated me. Remember, you can spam your attack. Don't worry about spamming that. It's unlimited, boy. Uh, a little tricky. You don't want to jump directly in uh in line with where his projectile's gonna hit you you know okay we get to do the challenge of shangri-la again we have a life in the tank that's great the old lady's on our side still it's that simple it truly is that simple okay now we're on this next stage whatever whatever we get here Back in the- okay, we, we've only gotten the dog fight like once before, so... That's- that's fine, you know, we'll get another... Get another shot at this one, even though we beat it with flying colors last time. Oh, That- not that time, you know? I was caught sleeping. I don't know what I was caught doing that time, that was just- that was pure foolishness. Now, I'm thinking that catching the scrolls and, like, the uh, ocarinas and stuff like that, I think that that might... Or maybe they're Tanfa, I don't know. <laughs> ah, shoot. I think that that might uh, get more people on your side, because at the Challenge of Shangri-La, the first time that we attempted it, we had, like, a full loadout of people. That, ah, I'm having issues this time. You know what? Just down me. Let's start over. I don't, I don't like losing two lives that early. But yeah, there were there were like little squares with people in them, and uh, the first time that I tried it, I had a bunch of people there. The second time I tried it, there was like nobody there. I had one person. And I don't know what the significance of that is, but I'd have to imagine that it has to do with your performance in the lead-up stages. Although, ironically, you know, I beat it the second time when I didn't have as many people. Oh, boy, we're a fast boy right now. I don't know if I necessarily like being faster. And I, yeah, you could just sit around and wait for things to spawn, but, you know, that's... That's, that's a little sub-optimal. Ah, I got caught up standing on the grave, you know? I almost wish that the graves were up there. <laughs> Alright, I'm going back to my wisp shooting days. You know, I almost wish that the graves uh, were not solid objects, so I could just kind of jump directly past them. But, you know, it's, it's no big deal. him. Grab this, because it can only be a good thing. I don't see a world where that uh, inhibits us in any way. Maybe the scrolls are what bring you to a boss fight? 
I don't know. I'm still figuring out the more esoteric elements of this game. On the surface, it's extremely simple, but there appear to be some other factors at play that I'm not yet fully understanding. Go buy yourself a nice, a nice refreshing 12-pack of Sprite by the Coca-Cola Company. Sponsored. <laughs> In case that wasn't very, very clear. <sighs> I'm not so great at the dog fight, you know. The first time that I did the dog fight, it was no big deal. But the second time, I'm. I'm, you know, I'm kind of eating it. Oh, no! Alright. That's the one to beat. That's the one we gotta improve at. I got cocky that first time, just kind of getting a lucky run, but uh, that's giving me a run for my money. Get the crow. Yeah, we got the crow. Hooray, I think. Don't, don't shoot the wisps, man. Don't be, don't be dense. So fun to shoot though, you know, they're floating there in the air, they give you 100 points, the game's practically saying, please shoot my wisps. Getting easier and easier to counter the raining death. Oh yeah, yeah, you gotta go for the one with the crow on it. You know it. Look at that, we still get our little fireballs too. That's nice that, uh, those power-ups kind of carry over. Oh yeah, this Gorilla Borther stage? I was gonna say, it's easy, it's no problem, and then we die. But I do want to stress, I have not once felt like this game is unfair. It's difficult, yes. But it's up to you to just be good at it. The game doesn't do anything to inhibit your ability to be good. At least not that I've found. Not like some games in the NES library where they say, Oh, you want to be good? That's a shame. You're not allowed. Okay. Go through the door with the thing over it every time. I don't know why. Just do it. Uh, no, with, with no lives left in a dogfight? <laughs> so, I think I just need to figure out, like, where my hitbox is more than anything. Oh, we got the witch. We're good. Let's see. If we pass this and if we get to a boss fight, then we'll know that that's what the scroll does. It brings you to a boss. Or at least... I'll be assuming that because, you know, it makes logical sense. Oh, okay, beat the witch. We're good. Got a second ocarina, whatever it is. Nope. Okay, still don't know what induces a boss fight. We got the old lady here. Now, you just, you just spam it. And you're good. See, we got like a unicorn and a pegasus down there. I don't know what causes them. They uh, they were there though, and I don't know if they help us or what. Again, the game's got just a little bit of confusion in it. Oh, okay, this one. I was gonna say this one's a little more tough, and then you know we eat it immediately. And yeah, you know. Once you keep playing it a little bit more and you see the various layouts that it has, it, 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 you know, it does start to become a little bit repetitive, but it's still fun. Like, it, you're gonna get repetition in literally any game that you play ever. No game is constantly different all the time. And again, you know, especially for a game of its time, I'm just saying that a lot of Ninja Kid's contemporaries didn't go the same kind of distance here. I can forgive any mild repetition that I witness in this game, because it did make genuine attempts 
to be varied. I don't want it to sound like I'm being like, oh, the game's getting repetitive, I'm getting tired of it. No, no, I'm still having a very, very good time with Ninja Kid right now. A shockingly good time. Oh, I was a little worried about that. That, that's my boomerang. Don't worry about that boomerang. You're not in any amount of trouble with that thing. Okay, okay, okay. I'm a little, I'm a little jumpy around anything that shoots projectiles, as you may well expect. Oh, he jumped up into me and he ruined it all. I got greedy. I wanted that doll thing, whatever it was. Oh, the double kill. Okay. Apparently, I have to be a little bit more jumpy than I was. Maybe you have like a 50-50 chance of getting ported to a boss. Maybe like one of the two doors will send you to a boss and you don't know which one it is. I don't know. I'm just I'm just drawing assessments here from my experiences with the game. Because that's what you do. Alright, zero lives left. We still have a stage and the boss to go. It's another guerrilla warfare. It's the easier guerrilla warfare, but that doesn't mean anything. Death. Death can come at a moment's notice. Again, you know, a little more polish on that overworld, and man, you'd be, a, you'd be an all-time classic, Ninja Kid. Maybe not an all-time classic, but... Ah! Still no good at the dogfight. I mean, I passed twice, so, you know, not the worst. But, it's like I always say, even if you are bad at something, anybody can become good at something with enough practice. Jeez, that was, that was terrible. Just awful. I hope you're enjoying it. Ninja Kid. Uh, if you have any thoughts about Ninja Kid, I would love to hear them from you in the comments, of course. If you think that Ninja Kid is the most boring game you've ever watched, hey, by all means, let me know. If you think that Ninja Kid uh, is a rather impressive specimen compared to what we've seen so far, hey, let me know that too, you know? I love to hear any variety of opinions, whether it's a circle jerk or it's complete outright dissent. <laughs> Both are valid. Hey, there we go. I finally did it. I made the daring move. I dropped down towards the water. And as long as you're caught by the door, you're fine. I don't even know if the water kills you, necessarily. Ah! The actual other ninjas. They're no joke, man. Let's try going left. Oh, no, no, they're still there. But we're invincible, so who cares? You know? You don't want to lean on the invincibility too much, because, you know, it'll wear off the second that you're <laughs> trying to utilize it. 3,000 points, I uh, don't know what else that does, but it's points, if nothing else. Maybe that's literally all it is, is points. I'd love to see a game that uh, converts your score into actual... Uh, an actually consequential gameplay element, like your score... gives you this, or changes this aspect, or, you know, any number of things like that. Okay, we got him that time. Maybe we just didn't get his eyes in quick enough uh, succession last time? I don't know. As long as we beat him, though, that's all I'm worried about. There we go. Just get him out of there. So, uh, the ninjas do not count for stage completion, too. We gotta kill these little uh, tornado-dropping ghoulies. Oh, God. No, no, no. I don't like the speed power-up. I, uh, I shouldn't be trusted with it. They're, they don't count for stage completion, but we gotta get rid of them anyway, because they'll just, uh... They'll undoubtedly cause us problems. Two more. Two more. We can manage it, right? 
Okay, 20,000 points. We got another life. That's good stuff right there. Now, as I've learned from earlier NES games, that doesn't necessarily mean that'll ever happen again. <laughs> it might just be your, your one shot at another life. Good, good, good. We're getting used to that one. Pretty high scoring run so far. I mean, any time that we make it to the challenge of Shangri-La, you know, it's better off than we usually tend to do. The old lady giving us her blessing once more. Maybe it's an old man, you don't know. It's, e it's easy, you know, once you get past the shock of that first encounter, you realize that all you do is mash B and then jump when, when applicable. We could probably jump straight to this challenge, but... I don't know if that's a good idea or not. It appears that our lower half is relatively safe. Just focus on your head, you know, focus on where your head is on the Y-axis. You know, just, just play it safe. Don't take unnecessary risks, but do get rid of enemies. That dude, he's uncalled for, I'll tell you that. Like, what do you want me to do about that? I'll just, I'll just mash B, you know? That's what the game wants me to do. He just, he explodes, and, all right, that might be the one thing that I felt it's a little bit out of my power to avoid. But one thing, you know, that's not bad. Usually if these games are unavoidably difficult, it's for like the entire game, but no, that's, that's just one particular enemy that uh, makes my life a little miserable. I really like this stage, by the way, the aesthetics of it. It's great. Like, honestly, really well designed in the art department for the time. You know, it's not gonna rival you're like a ghost of uh, Tsushima or anything like that, but... Uh, But it's a good-looking stage, honestly. I love the houses, the little, like, stone pyramids, whatever they're supposed to be. The dark nighttime aesthetic of it all, the creeping vines above. It's the little things, you know? Oh! Frankenstein's monster dropped right on our head. I'm not sure what Frankenstein's monster has to do in the realm of ninjas, but, you know has to do with the Realm of Ninjas. Easy. Wish we wouldn't have died to that drop bear. I don't know how many worlds are in this game, by the way. It looks like we're on M1. I assume that means Map 1. Not like the individual maps really have any noticeable difference. <laughs> Maybe they have different end bosses. And again, maybe you can just skip directly to the end boss on map two. I'm gonna try that next time. Provided we make it there given this video, which I certainly hope we do. I wonder if you can even just... Okay, no, I definitely have a plan for our next run here. It's gonna be an experimental run here. We have an hour with the game, may as well, you know, get creative with it. Okay. Good stuff. Ooh, you know, I got spooked. That froze a little. That's what I'm always concerned about happening with that dude. He has one of the more treacherous approaches of any of the uh, mini-bosses in this game. That's alright. Okay, so I can't do my uh, experiment here because all of the stages are directly in our path. I was gonna say, maybe if, if given the opportunity, if you can skip these stages, and if you can, if it, if it has any major consequences. Actually, let's just game over here and try to get a better layout, but because I'm curious. Look at that score of a thousand. You don't see that every day.
looks like we may ha we may be able to skip all of these. Let's see. Let's see if it allows it. Okay. All right. Okay, and because we've done nothing, we get no blessing from the old lady. And we cannot challenge. Okay. That's that's the answer that I needed. That's what I wanted to know. I, I kind of figured you wouldn't be able to because it would kind of undermine the entire gameplay loop of Ninja Kid, but, you know. Give these things a shot. You never know what might happen. Alright, anyway, Blazing Inferno. Glad to see this one. I'm not gonna entirely call it a gimme because I have, of course, died here in the past, but it's, uh... It's not as hard as, say, a uh, Guerrilla Warfare. Guerrilla Warfare and Dogfight, those are the two that kind of get you. I would imagine that if you were speedrunning, you'd want to see as many poison fields as you could possibly get, because that, uh, that one is pretty easy most of the time, as well as fairly quick. Wisps there seem to generate at a uh, very quick pace. Blazing Inferno, while being fairly easy, would probably kind of suck for speedrunning, just because uh, you got to really navigate the little... Bernie boy. I don't mean Bernie boy in a political uh, way, of course, uh, but rather, you know, the fact that he is in fact burning. Cool. Again, upset that I got the speed boost. This is really a game where getting a speed boost is a dangerous affair. that B button. Yeah, there you go. Who cares if you use up all your boomerangs? They're not that helpful anyway. You can tell we're just tapping that movement button as well. Tapping the right button. We don't want to speed through this too much. We don't want to directly collide head on with them. Oh yeah, this is the tactic. You don't even think about it. You just... You can just hold right. Look at that. I probably should have grabbed that falling ocarina, but, you know. Whatever. This is the easiest boss, as long as, you know... I'm more worried about the, uh, the little, uh... Raccoons <laughs> leading up to him than I am about him himself. Poison field. Great. An easy one. Don't say it's easy, that's how you die. Come on, you learned this. Thought I would have landed on the grave, but I didn't. The graves seem to be not inconsistent, but you know, just a little uh, a little off with their, their geometry. Didn't want to be down to life, I was doing real well this round, but uh, it's my fault for saying that this was easy. Intended, but you know. if it happens, accept it. Oh, yeah, I wanted to get greedy for the ocarina, but uh, it was not the time for that. I don't even know if that is an ocarina. I, I don't know what it's quite supposed to be. Okay, we had the Pegasus helping us, whatever that means. Maybe it wasn't helping us, maybe it was just chilling. Maybe those are just the people observing your fight saying, hmm, cool, bro. No, the question is, will this get any more difficult? I haven't done Blazing Inferno in Map 2 yet. It doesn't appear so. It appears to be more or less the same thing. But again, not a bad soundtrack here. It's, uh... You know, a little bit of a loop, but it's a catchy loop. Yeah, there you go, there you go. This is definitely the most clever of all of the uh, map types, the Blazing Inferno. 
we definitely had to get a little... a little cute with that one. Yeah, 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 let him puke first, and then... Oh, jeez, I'm actually amazed that I didn't get uh, swallowed up by the abyss there. Okay. I saw my entire life flash before my eyes once or twice, but we made it out. Uh, this is where it all ends. It's alright, we do have two lives, which might technically be three, I don't know. Games that do X-Zero, which is most of them, they exist purely to confuse you. Well, thank god that thing died before it could do anything. I don't even know what it was. I think it was one of the witches. Uh, this thing, yeah, okay. Get that out of the sky while you can. Good. I just want to get through it and survive. You know, I want to see what this challenge is on map two. Although, no guarantees with the guerrilla warfare. Ah, uh, it shouldn't be that bad. That's, that's the super speed, which, you know, was maybe a mistake grabbing, but... It's okay, we can manage it just by, just by tapping that button. Light little tippy taps. Get you where you need to be. And it's already worn out, look at that. Beautiful. Two lives left. Oh, we still got this guy, so we gotta survive his, uh... Doom animals. We're fine. <laughs> oh. Oh. I apologize for that. <laughs> Thank you, old lady. Okay, it is, again, the challenge of Shangri-La, but this... Okay, this is a mildly different one. We have the Pegasus again. We died. <laughs> I'm not sure if it retains the health that it had when you died, or if it goes back down to zero. I'm thinking it probably uh, goes back down to zero damage. Hitting this thing is a little bit of a pain. Ooh, that was a bad jump. Okay, it's at four health when we go in. Oh no, it does retain its damage levels, so that's that's a small boon to the player, you know? There we go, we got it. We made it to map three at some point in this video, which looks uh, exactly like map one. But now you've got four challenges to go through. Okay, new enemy types. Things are actually... Ah, uh, okay, game over. <laughs> I was gonna say, things are changing up now. Now it's about to get exciting, but, you know, you know we kind of... We kind of bite the big one in the end anyway. At least we saw it, right? We know that things do change a little bit. And I mean a little bit. They're very subtle little differences. Well, you take what you can get. In the meantime... It's, ah! I, I didn't expect him to jump twice like that in such rapid succession. You know, you expect the skeletons to just kind of be as, a. Uh, dumb as a doorknob, but instead... He had those advanced skeleton tactics he learned at uh, the Skeleton Academy. Anything to stop the ninja kid. I like how there's literally no exposition in this game at all. It's not like the slightest semblance of a story. And you know what? It doesn't need one. Not like NES stories have ever mattered anyway. Besides, you know, like... Yeah, you get some okay ones. I'm, I'm trying to think of some examples. Like the Dragon Warrior games, you know? Dragon Warrior started off on, uh... Well, now known as Dragon Quest. Uh, it started off on the NES and... 
You know, they're pretty basic fantasy stories, but they're stories nonetheless. Give one point to the NES there, you know. Shameful. Absolutely shameful. Remember, mash B here. Don't even think about doing anything else. Ignore the ninja. He doesn't even get you completion. Ignore that ninja too. Just ignore everything, man. And yet... <laughs> I didn't ignore that, but you know... It was... It was fancy looking, so I wanted to pick it up. You all know I play. You've all been there, I'm sure. Playing a game and you get completely baited by something that looks slightly fancy. That was a thumbs up if you couldn't tell with my uh, hand phasing in and out. Give me the poison fields, yes! Give me this one, this is like the most basic layout that there is. How can you even fail this one? Don't say stuff like that, you're gonna, gonna be made a fool of if you get that cocky. about this dude. He does kind of make things, uh, oh, he makes things a little more painful, I was going to say. Yeah, he's, out of all the enemies in the poison fields that start spewing shit everywhere, he is by far the nastiest, you know? Stuff's going up, down, left, right, every, wi every which direction. I'm not proud of that. I don't think for a moment any of you thought I was, but, you know, just wanna make it clear. I know I keep complaining about picking up the speed power-up, but, you know, I like the points. Points make the world go round. If real life had high scores, then the world would be a better place. We got three ocarinas. What does it mean? You may never know. Uh, actually, that probably uh, summons another friend to help us. Although I still don't know if they help us or do anything at all. They just kind of seem to be there, you know? Again, I think they're just spectators. They're observers. Kind of a trek, isn't it? Oh, look at that! Yeah, we got a full suite of friends. I think we may have done slightly more damage there. I don't know. I'm not an expert. I regret it. <laughs> I regret everything. Maybe there's like one scroll, three ocarinas, and then getting the old lady. Is that how it works? I don't know. We'll never find out, because we'll just keep dying in dogfights over and over. I don't disrespect the dogfights, you know, I'm glad that they exist. They add, you know, a little more flavor. Hey, he didn't instantly eliminate us for the first time in my life. So that's nice. Okay, okay, get out of here while you can. Alright, alright, alright. We're down to no lives, which I don't like. I was very sure that that thing was going to erase me, but it didn't, so that's fortunate. Okay, getting a little tense here, you know, whenever you're sitting on time zero, some stuff is scary. Blazing Inferno, I can deal with it. Just remember to play it cool here, even though it's hot. If you get what I'm saying here. Yeah. Speed, the speed, it's too much with the points! I can't resist the beautiful points! 
Could you resist the points? I don't think so. You'd be in the same predicament I'm in here. We were like, I see points, I need them. We need one ocarina left. But we still gotta survive this. We still got one more left. Uh... Let's go this way. Oh. I'm worried. I'm worried. I'm worried! I'm fine. I don't know what that gave us, but it gave us 5,000 points. We didn't get another life, so as I suspected, that 20,000 is a one-off. A one-time gift that you'll never get, that you'll never receive again. Can I get another ocarina? Hey, there it is. Okay. We'll have a full suite of helpers, I believe. We'll see if my assessment is correct here. Three ocarinas, one scroll, old lady. Yeah, 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 gang's all here. I don't know what they do to help. We died anyway. <laughs> that was a high score, though, by a wide margin. For whatever that's worth. Maybe I'll have to look that up and see, like, what effect all of those things have on that uh, boss battle, if anything. Because they can't just be for show, right? That would seem rather silly. Give me a scroll, thank you. It's a game that's keeping me talking. Uh, and you know, that's not always a guarantee on this, you know? Everything I'm saying, it's gotta do with this game, because I still feel like there's still so much I don't understand. Despite its, you know, very, very basic <laughs> demeanor. Maybe those doors are telling me which one the boss isn't in. See, I'm still learning stuff. It was nice knowing you all. Okay, I collected the crow, which means should I survive this stage? gonna go into the door that doesn't have the crow over it and if that brings us to the boss that'll be my uh my assessment god although you know we're just gonna die to everything you know when you die to something that doesn't even fire projectiles that's when you feel like a real goober all right we don't have a lot of time left i just i just want to see if my theory is correct another dog fight. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? Give me a crow! I need the crow! I mean, the ocarina is nice too, but uh, come on, crow time. Ah, I wasted it. That's okay, I have another minute left. I could... Well, right, this doesn't prove anything because I never got the crow, so I don't even know which door I went in. Guys, easy. Okay, Guerrilla Warfare, let's see if I get the person. <laughs> Whatever it's supposed to be. You know what I'm talking about. Ah, or we can just die. Ah, there he is. There's the guy. All right, we gotta beat this. We only have a few seconds to do this. It's okay, these things spawn quick. Scroll! I don't need it. I want it. Or I'm just gonna die, you know? Just enough to test the theory. That's all I ask for here. doesn't have him over it. And yeah, it brings you to the boss, so that's gotta be it. Alright, 
that's an hour of Ninja Kid. Like I said, the whole video, I'm actually remarkably impressed by it. Yeah, you know, it's a, it's a little meandering. It's kind of the same thing over and over and over, but it plays well. It's, uh, it feels good. The, you're always in control. It's, it's not loose or sloppy or anything like that. It's, it's pretty fun. You know, I wouldn't mind, wouldn't mind picking up an actual uh, cartridge of it someday. It's, it's a solid little game for the time. So, I mean, yeah, it actually does get my seal of approval, believe it or not. Uh, that does bring us to what our next episode will be, though. We have wrapped up October twenty, uh, October nineteen eighty six. Worst game of the bunch, I'd probably argue, was tag team wrestling. Just really nothing to it at all. Not um, not very good. Best best game of the month? Yeah. Definitely Ninja Kid. Certainly better than Muscle and Chubby Cherub. Actually, Chubby Cherub may have even been the second best of the month. That's that's how dire the month was. <laughs> but uh, next we go into November 1986. And the first game that we're looking at here, it is actually a triple threat of Capcom published games. And Capcom, they're a big deal. But uh, they were slightly less of a big deal when they very first showed up, and uh, we'll see what's going on there. But the first one that we got is Commando, an arcade classic. So join me tomorrow for Commando on the NES. And as always, thank you for watching, and have a wonderful everything.